got a question for you. How many mothers do we have in the building today? How many mothers? How many mothers? All right. How many fathers do we have in the building? Okay. A few years ago, there was this pregnant mother. Out comes this nice, shiny black baby boy. Now, mothers, you remember that moment when the baby came out? You probably experienced those happy tears. The reality was this mother looked down at her new baby boy and she realized that her baby boy was missing some of his fingers. You know, here's the reality. I hadn't always been this cool. I hadn't always been this confident. And I hadn't always been this good looking. <laughs> it was like, oh, look at his fingers. He's so special. She said, son, quit looking at what you don't have and think about all the amazing things you do have. Son, quit looking at what you don't have and think about all the amazing things you do have. Those were the same words that helped me get a BS degree from Norfolk State in chemistry. Those were the same words that helped me at Lehigh University when I got a master of science degree in textile and fiber engineering. Those are those same words that helped me get the other master's degree from Georgia Tech in uh, textile and fiber engineering. And I remember that day so clear. It was my very first job interview. And as Dr. Hinckley was talking, I heard this other voice that says, Cantus, you know they're not gonna hire you, right? You know they don't hire black scientists. And then I heard the words of my mom, son, quit looking at what you don't have and think about all the things you do have. So I share this all across the country, I share this all across the world, because I realized this. At one time, this was the thing that told me I can't, I won't, and I'll never. This was the thing that held me back. This was the thing that stopped me from approaching girls. But all the girls love me now. Why? Because I'm the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I give some love to my nub, 7.25. But here's the reality, young people. Here's the reality, entrepreneurs. Your mess will only stop you if you allow it. You see, I had to turn my mess into my success. So when people always ask me, Kansas, you know, how did you get good grades in school? Now that I tell them, I tell them, hey, here are 7.25 ways to get better grades in school. When people ask me, Kansas, how did you go to college all on scholarships? I tell them, here are 7.25 ways to land free college money. Hey, you guys, my name is Kansas Simmons. I'm the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. Thank you guys so much. Every moment that you conquered and got over, somebody's still looking to get over that. So every time he goes and speaks, he liberates people who are dealing with that same thing. Whether it be weight, height, whatever it is, whatever's going on in their personal life, he's liberating somebody with that story every single time. So y'all give it up for Kansas one more time, man.